Hello and welcome back to Steam with Steve. Today we're going to go through how to connect these Rise Tello drones to your computer through the Python programming language. Now these are awesome, they allow you to fly autonomously through the sky and you'll be able to code it very similar to what you did with the Python Turtle tutorials that we covered. So let's jump on in and cover what we're going to do. So to start, we're going to learn a little bit about the installation guide. So we're going to learn how to install Python 3.11, which is the latest version of the programming language of choice. We're then going to learn how to install PyCharm, which allows you to edit the code that you're going to build. And that allows you to have autocomplete text. So you'll be typing some code and then it will automatically fill in the rest of the blanks as you're typing it. The last thing then with the install is we're going to install the DGI Tello um, Py library, which then allows you to basically connect from your computer to the Rise Tello drone. After we've done all of that, we're then going to have a bit of fun and we're going to go through the basic launch code and then I have a bit of an extension version. So the first thing you're going to need to do is install Python 3.11. So you'll do a quick little Google search, Python 3.11, and that will take you to python.org. Click on the link and then the second button up the top, you'll go downloads and then download for your operating system. Now I've done the Mac operating system because that's what we use at my school. Um, super useful and it's very quick to install. You'll click on that and then the uh, package file will be in the bottom left hand corner. All you got to do then is upload that. So double click on that once that's finished or open when finished and up will come up the install file. It's pretty much just to uh, click the button um, fest here. So just click continue, continue, continue as long as you agree with all the license and then go agree and then 165 meg will be installed onto the computer. You click on install and off it will go. Um, I've closed it there just because my computer already has it installed. The next thing then you'll need to download is PyCharm. So you go to the PyCharm website through JetBrains. This is our IDE or interactive development environment, which makes Python so much easier to code. You'll click on the download option and then choose the community edition. Download the DMG file that's relevant. So you'll either have the Intel, the latest Apple Silicon M1 version, and then you'll click on the download and off it will go. Now that took a while, so I'm just gonna pause it there and we'll join back in later. So once that's installed, you'll need to go through and do the installation. It's very simple on Mac, you just drop and drag. So drag the PyCharm CE across the applications. Um, it's already, already been installed on mine, so that probably won't pop up on yours. And then it will transfer um, the DMG file into your PyCharm. Okay, so they'll install it, and then you'll now have PyCharm included in your computer. The last thing we then need to install is the library that will allow you to connect. So we need to open up the terminal. So you just um, press, uh, um, command space and type in terminal and then you just need to type in pip3 install and then dgi tello py now that's going to go on the internet and download and install all the libraries that you need inside um, python and it's going to do that all automatically for you you can then open up pycharm itself so once you've done all that work pycharm will now have everything all built into it ready to go and you just literally click on the um, pycharm.ce or again, command space, type in PyCharm and you'll find it. And while that's uploading, it will start with the beginning page. So you click on new project. And then this is really important. You need to make sure you've named it appropriately. So I've gone introduction. Your base interpreter needs to be 3.11. So if it's not that, click on there. And then you just need to inherit global sites and make all the projects available and click create. This will then open up PyCharm and give you the base code to start. Okay, and this is what we call the main.py. So this is the main file that we're starting with. The code that's built in there is pre-built. Um, you just can delete that at the start. And that's where we'll look at the actual um, first version of Py, um, PyCharm. Now, if the interpreter doesn't have that installed, you can always go through preferences like I've just done there and then type on Python interpreter and then that will open it up. And you can see that DJI Tello was installed. So this is a little bit more complex because I've got some other libraries installed as well. But the DJI Tello um, PY library is there, all good to go. So there's a famous old saying that all programmers know, don't reinvent the wheel. So basically what that means is we use libraries. So instead of you having to retype all the code um, that allows you to connect, so you need to know what the network socket, socket is and how many, um, you know, packages need to be sent across to this and all this really complex data, you don't need to worry about that because someone, some super nerd has already done that for you. And that's what a library is. So when we've used the terminal to install DJI Tele uh, PY, 
that's what that is. So we've installed the, all the files that are needed to make that connection. And that's what a library is. So it's the same as when you go to a library and you choose a book and you pull that out and you go, that's the thing that I want to work on. That's what we'll be doing when we do this original bit of code. So this leads us to the base launch code. Now what this looks like is this. So I'm going to go line by line with this. There's really only five lines of code here that are important. And this allows you to connect to your drone from any computer that has a Wi-Fi connection. To start, what we've done is used the DJI Tello PY library and we've imported the Tello book. So we've just chosen the Tello part and that allows us to make that connection from your computer to the drone. The next step then is I've made a variable called Maverick and that's gonna be the controller variable all the way through while we're typing our commands to this. And it's very similar to what you've done with um, Total. So instead of going um, turtle.turtle, we now do tello.tello with a capital T. That allows us to control this device um, through the Python code. The next step then is we need to make a Wi-Fi connection, which is what maverick.connect does. So that will connect to this device. And then after that, we actually want to do something kind of cool. So we're going to do maverick.takeoff. The drone will take off into the sky. And then we'll get, um, after it's done that, we'll get maverick to land. So we'll go maverick. Land. So if you can't tell, I'm a bit of a Top Gun fa um, fan. And yeah, let's see if we can get Maverick flying. This is the code that um, I've built from the very beginning. And this is what the base code of any of the code that you do with your drone will look like. So to start, we're going to go from DGI Tello PY and we're going to import Tello. Now that is going to make the connection available so that you can control this drone through your computer. If you don't type that appropriately or have the files installed, it's not going to work. The next bit then, um, it's very important to write comments as you're building your code, just to make someone else um, that reads, reads your code understand exactly what you're going to do. And it's very simple. All you've got to do is press Shift 3 at the very beginning, and then that creates a hash, and then anything that you write after that, the computer doesn't read, okay? But the humans that read your code will be able to see and understand what you're doing it. So hash, uh, create a variable to um, control the teledrone. I've written that just to give you a bit of insight as I'm writing this. And then I'm going to build the code. So I've gone maverick is equal to tello.tello with two brackets. And that creates the, co uh, the connection between maverick in the computer and then how, what happens into the real world. We then want to connect to the drone and take it off. So we're going to go maverick.connect and that makes a connection between your computer and the, the drone. We're then going to go maverick.takeoff and that's going to get your drone to take off. So that's the first command we're going to learn. And then after that, we want it to land. So we're going to get the drone to land down. So I've done a little comment there and then I've written maverick.land. So that will allow the drone to take off and then land. So this is what the code will look like um, in the real world. So this is me filming with my iPhone. There's the code, made the Wi-Fi connection to the drone. So you should turn it on um, as normal. So you press run and there it goes, which was pretty cool. Now there was a bit of a wind current there. So that's why the drone moved backwards, um, but that was pretty cool. So the next part we're gonna do then is go to the next level and we're gonna make the drone do something a little bit cooler. Um, so what you can do, there's a whole API library available um, which will be in the links down below. And you can see all these different commands that you can do to the drone. So this um, first command is the strafing command, which allows you to drone to move left to right while still facing the same direction. So you don't need to turn and make it move forward. So to do that, we go maverick. So we access that and then dot move and then left. And you can see that it's automatically completing that for you. That hundred that I've written there is how many centimeters I want the drone to move to the left. Then going to get the drone to rotate and you've got the choice between clockwise and counterclockwise. So I'm going to make it rotate counterclockwise 90 degrees. We're then going to make the drone move forward. So we're going to go um, dot move forward. And again, we're going to type in 100. So I'll move it forward 100 centimeters. And then after that, just as a little bit of fun, you can actually connect to this drone while this connection is there. You can see how much battery is left in your drone. It will print out on the, your computer as you're going. So you can go print, um, which is a command we've seen before, and then maverick dot, um, sorry, I've forgotten off the top of my head, get the battery. So that will literally get the battery um, value. And then there's a whole heap of this stat stats and data that you can connect, 
uh, collect, which is really useful. The last bit then, uh, just for a little bit of the lols, is we're gonna do a barrel roll. So that will literally make the, the drone come up, flip back, land, um, and then still be flying in the, in the air. So to do that, you literally go Maverick and then dot and then flip. And then I've done the back option. You can also flip left, right and forward as well. And then up the top there, you press the run and then off it will go. So let's have a look at that code in the real world. Here we go. So there's my laptop with the code, pressing the play button up in the go. top right. So the drone's taken off into the sky. So it's there. It's then gonna strafe to the left, 100 centimeters. So it's just gonna float across and stop. It's then gonna turn counterclockwise, 90 degrees. It's then gonna move forward another 100. And then we've got our little backflip coming, which is pretty cool. And now it's gonna sit down and land. Pretty cool, right? And that's all from the, that bit of code that you can see in that at the beginning. So that's all for today. Um, hopefully you understand how to make install those files and then make a really quick connection to your Rise Tello drone. Hope you had a lot of fun playing around with this. I know I did. And yeah, see you next time on Steamer Steve. Adios.